In our last meeting in, in, in Tarragona, we, we, we realized that we were late, late by at least three, if not six months in our scientific planning of the, the results. The first 18 months of this three-year project was to put a variety of metals onto nanotubes, then to see which would detect benzene the best and to understand why. The plan was that at 11 months before the project's end to select the single best metal and then use the remaining time to create the working benzene detector out of that. But at the Tarragona meeting, the scientist did not have clear enough results to choose the best metal, so the decision was delayed for three months, until a meeting in Brussels, which is tomorrow. This will cut down to nine months the time to create the commercial instrument. This is my personal target for the detector, the benzene detector. Marc Delgado at Sensortran Company has been waiting for many months from input for, from us to build a sensor. And we had no sensor to provide to him. Most important question to be solved in Brussels is what kind of metal. Between the failure to agree on a metal three months ago and now, a large number of new metal clusters or nanotubes have been built. They have all been tested in Tarragona as possible detectors for benzene. There was a lot of late night working in order to be able to show the results here today. We measured several samples for, for um, each material and uh, each measurement which each sensor was replicated five times so it's been two months non-stop measuring in, in Tarawana. We're showing you the real meeting, but there is a risk. We have to hide our data because otherwise this video will count as publishing it. And then we would not be able to patent our sensor. To keep the metal secret, we'll bleep the names. And the actual measurements and numbers we can't show either. But these are the kind of results we have been getting. As the benzene goes over the nanotubes, the signal goes up. But with some of the metals, it takes a long time to get there, hours, not minutes. For some metals, when the benzene is turned off, the signal does not return to zero. For some metals, it returns to zero, but very slowly. Again, hours, not minutes. At the last meeting, we also talked about samples treated with different plasmas, with fluorine plasmas or with ammonia plasmas. And so, is, is I was stunned. I think everybody was. Before Edward's results, I had a good idea in my mind what the metal choice would be. I thought the meeting was a done deal. And suddenly, he presented a whole new selection of results that contradicted everything we'd seen before. And we were right back to square it. one. But the worst thing that I'm seeing is that uh, the recovery time it's so, so it's extremely high. Uh, when you say that the recuperation time is half an hour, something like that? Yes. But if you start again to inject benzene, it works again? Yes, of okay, course, so, okay, of course, no, of course. This is due to the fact that you, you have benzene sticking on, on the The reason why you go back to the baseline is because you get rid of the, of the gas, or is, is that? Usually in, that. In, basic, in basic catalysis. So. It, so the, which is the, the usual way to get rid of, uh, let's say, a very strong, strongly... This is just an example <coughs> of showing that if we heat it at 150, we can more or less return to the baseline, so you can return faster to the, to the baseline by, by heating. At that time, we presented results about detecting benzene with different, met with different uh, metals, and the results were a little bit inconclusive. The things that worried me was, for a start, the metal we thought was good. On retesting later, the results were significantly degraded, so the quality of the sample had degraded. So that showed that maybe it wasn't such a good choice. So that scared me somewhat. It has been shown by Edward some metals which were already discarded. So we had we decided to go on measuring more uh, more me more sensors decorated with different metals and with different preparation methods. Alexander, that has been done. There was a lot of discussion about how we needed to screen this large number of metals and a growing realization that we were no longer in the position of choosing one metal. Suddenly, there were a lot of metals in the running again, and we had to deal with that. Just guessing, but could clean the sensor. 
we should uh, get final validation of the gas sensor regarding uh, competitivity, sensitivity, and the potential sell on the market. So there should be something viable. What about focusing on some metals for the next nine months of the project? We don't know exactly how it's, it works from a fundamental point of view. I do think that we cannot really discard any type of metal. Because well, I still don't know which is the best. Until, until this morning, mm -hmm. well, before your talk, in my mind I was sure that we will, that we will be working only on <laughs> and <laughs> if, if we have <laughs> still, in, still in the race, it should be interesting. So, Edouard, what do you feel? <laughs> don't say both. <laughs> <laughs> is it worth trying from Namu? Uh, I want to continue to work with... Uh, Uh, concerning this could be possible, but uh, I'm not sure about the, the time. Mark, what do you think? But I think that we should focus on two, three, two, much better than three. Would damage the, the, the end of the, project, of the project, because uh, we don't have time enough to, to check hundreds of samples. That we are not capable to make a definite choice of one metal to focus on, we'll still continue to explore uh, when in fact if I'm covering all the groups and we'll get as much data as possible for our Luxembourg meeting by end of March. So from January to March there was another huge effort producing new nanotubes. With a program of different metals combined with different ways of building the clusters. And at the Lippmann Laboratory in Luxembourg, we convened another meeting to decide which metal. It's the mechanism. So uh, if you know that a, a molecule that contains carbons. But, so having a lot of new. From the new data, sizes, metals could be chosen with some confidence. For the results showed that the original concept was too simple. A new idea emerged here, that it would be better to use not one, but several metals together. And the way they would be combined is very subtle and very innovative, and it's very exciting. But it's not possible to reveal it until a patent to protect it has been granted. We need to be very careful about uh, communicating which are the final set which is the final set of metals that are needed in order to reach a, a selective detection of benzene so we cannot tell about this before the patent is is filled so uh, to be sure that uh, everybody agrees on on that again what is your management style uh, i am a person of consensus in the sense that with the good information there is no problem to convince all the partners that there is only one way to go for the best results. I think in science uh, to be a di dictator is extremely difficult in the sense that uh, you could uh, dictate your, your decisions but uh, if you dictate the decisions that means that you don't have the parameters at hand that means that you might be wrong you might not go for the best decision. So you, you shouldn't be a dictator in, in science at all.